Have you seen all these corporate estate agents opening up their own online packages to run alongside their high street operation? I've been thinking, is that wise? You see, the supermarkets, if you think about it, roll the clock back about five, ten years ago, they started their own savers and value brand ranges to compete against your Audis and Lidl's. And they spent millions of pounds advertising these cheap, um, you know, you buy a packet of biscuits, could either have the Sainsbury's own or the Sainsbury's value. But they reckon that these value ranges only take about 2% of their turnover. It's been a real disappointment for the supermarkets. So the question is, why haven't these savers and value brands really taken over when your likes of your Aldi and your Lidl are just taking over the world? And I think it comes down to this. I'd like to ask you a question. Would you do your big weekly shop either at Aldi or Little, or you could go to Sainsbury's or Tesco's, but you could only fill your basket full up of savers and the value range? Because I don't care what you say. Those of you that do shop at your Sainsbury's and your Tesco's, if you saw someone coming towards you with the trolley and it was just packed full of just savers and value brand, don't tell any porkies, but you would actually have a derogatory thought in your head. Whilst everybody at Audi and Lidl, it's all two fingers up to the, to the big estate agency chains. We're all in it together. And that's what it really comes down to, is that people don't want to feel stupid when they're pushing their trolleys around at Sainsbury's with all the value stuff, or Tesco's with their whatever range they call it, with their cheap and cheerful packaging. But that's what we might be doing with those corporates who are setting up their own uh, online packaging, uh, countrywide are a big one at the moment, offering sell your home with Bairstow Eves at £995 or whatever branding is they have around the country. And I really am worried for, for countrywide and the corporates offering this. You see, Purple Bricks and their mates at Yopa have only got 4 or 5% of the market. And that hasn't hardly grown in the last year. And if they're not careful, they're turning their whole operation to try and counter this very, what is considered a very small, you know, 4 or 5% isn't huge. Just think about this. By them starting an online package which runs alongside their high street operation, could they actually be creating the very monster that will destroy their own high street operation? Because if they're right then everybody's going to use the online operation and all their high street branches will go, which means, oh, God knows what's going to happen to everybody in their jobs. We're all going to turn into local property experts. I wonder what colour countrywide people will be. Just think about it. Love you all. Hope you well. Look after yourselves. This is Chris Watkin talking about things about the estate agency and nettings market that I hope you'll find of interest. If you want to find out more, subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel, and I'll be able to tell you even more stuff about my thoughts on the property market in the UK and how to get more homeowners and landlords to use your estate agents and letting agency. Thank you very much. Love you all. You are an awesome agent. and Don't let anyone tell you any otherwise. Cheers.